Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. There was a little road trip I went on back in April and I did not publish the video because it came out in three different segments. It's about a wind generator farm or a wind generator museum. So these are what they used in the 18 and 1900s. And uh, there was a lot of them. I don't know if there was quite 50, but there was a lot of them. So, as you can tell, I'm holding up the umbrella. I'm just going to go ahead and publish them individually. So, it didn't work out the way I wanted. I did a new hard drive, so I haven't been able to upload Vegas Studios so I can start editing. So, the money I had for that, I just gave away. A family member needed it more than me. So, it is what it is. So, but anyway, down uh, it's Fort Wayne, Indiana area, and uh, one of the things that I wanted to do, as she said, she wanted to get out of state. So I got her out of state. I found Chain Old Lakes. I'm covering. There are 11 lakes connected, so you can get the canoe rentals, and you get pitch a tent, you can actually call in advance. I got everything for all the things I'm talking about down in the links below. So, cabins. Yes, you could call in on the cabins. We also went on to Webster Lake. And from Webster Lake, there's it's on the west side. It's called North Webster uh, Dixie Haven Resort. We spent the night there. Very, very clean. Uh, it was large. It was a large room. And the lady was even available to give a presentation on video. So she spoke. And uh, they got the oldest riverboat in Indiana. They, they, they still keep it rolling. Um, and another place was, uh, it was Al Gore's Hangout. It's a haunted motel. So it's still up and running. You cannot spend the night there. It's still up and running today as Bar and Grill. It's a very nice place. They, had, they have blessed it, cleansed it, whatever, but you still cannot spend the night there. <laughs> that was back in April anyway. It was a lot of fun. But the Windmill Museum is on Highway 6, just off of Highway 6. I can't think of the name of the town, but all the links are down below. If you want to call, get the address, it's all there. If you ever want to go there, it's a nice, beautiful place. I didn't get the lady to uh, speak for me because she was already given a presentation. And so the next three days is three videos of the Windmill Museum. And have a nice rainy day. <laughs>